after the first couple of days in the Rim World, David managed to help one of the Empire of the Sun noblewomen, granting him a noble title. We will see how we will use it. Perhaps he will rule with an iron fist, or he will be a kind king. Hopefully, he will lead this settlement to greatness, and otherwise to its doom. Welcome back to A Cemetery Plays Rimworld. Hello everyone and welcome back to this second episode of Rimworld. Where well, our lovely David just got his implant and is now Yemen of the Empire of the Rising Sun. He has a psychic ability here where he can stun people mentally. Um, which prevent them from movement, which is going to be curious. Uh, we now finally have like a little thing where people can load their stuff into. Christina can do her research, hopefully. I don't th she's on plant growing. I'll remove her of plant growing so she can do the uh, research that we need her to do. Uh, she starts cutting plants. Great. You know, not, not my favorite activity, but alright. Let's see how they're doing today, however. A, a quick checkup. And Christina's doing great. She's enjoying life. She's her father. She likes. She does not like David anymore. David is. They crash together, but f he fails to romance her twice. <laughs> it's quite sad, David. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, okay, and it's time to name our faction. Uh, we will call ourselves the Empire of the Falling. Because there's already one of the sun. And w our name is. Well, let's see, go with. Yamwick. Uh, yeah, sure. Alright. Now we're gathering our stuff into this little house. I don't know where Christina's at right now. She's hauling. I don't know why. Is it hall above research? Yeah, it is. Hopefully she can do research now with a place that cargo pods. Please tell me they've lost something good. I will, I will allow it. I will allow these pack of survival meals as well. But that was a good quest that we got. Now, let's see if there's anything else that we would like. like could I claim this door as well? And then just I mean, technically, yeah. We'll see. Uh, what are these pillars? No, I can't actually. I could deconstruct them. That would be good. We don't have much food left, do we? Actually, quite a bit. What really? This is potato. I don't want this to be potato. I only want this one. If I if I, can, I there we go. Can I only grab this one? It's supposed to be yogurt, not potato. What the hell? <laughs> but everyone's doing fine. Let's see how David is doing. He is the Empire of the Falling Moons uh, uh, leader. Is a psychic amplifier which actually gives him the psychic abilities. Uh, he still likes Christina. Christina does not like him. David frizzes the goose. Goose. No, oh, he's been mean to Christina now. Yeah. Yeah, that's not how you want to woo a girl, man, David. Let's see how David actually has needs. Let's see. Pessimist. Slept in the cold, awful bedroom, darkness, comfortable, sissy master. Received Geoman title. Yeah, your 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 stature is recognized. Let's see. Anything else we could try? No sin I mean oh I don't have vein miner on, do I? Oof. I guess we can get some steel going. There we go. Cut that down. Oh please work. Do not mine. Okay, good, Christina. Christina, you're not on mining. What are you doing? Oh, you're playing. Okay, that's fine. Now everyone has something to do at least. We need batteries, that is for sure. Uh, these berries are gonna go for spoil, which is too bad. This is why we have Christina on the research, because we need those batteries. Oh crap. Raid by the transgressors. Uh, David, yo. 
my main man in defense. Let's get these two ready to fight. Let's get them ready in position. Uh, come on, move up. Here we go. We're now fighting. I'm having Christina station here just in case he decides to go to melee. Where I could have it Christina attack him with a knife. Just move up a little bit. He's not coming. Oh, Christina's out of the way. Okay, here we go. We just hit him with a gunshot. And another one. He's so dead. see he's gonna die soon but is he a good he's someone great to have though yeah like oh it's a she actually but look at this we want her so we're gonna look whose bed is not owned yet this one so we're gonna turn that into a prisoner's bed and have Christina She's fine. Capture him. Uh, we're gonna... Hopefully, they get her to the bed on time. Because they they be walking back. And the, who she's holding is bleeding out. Uh, but if they make it, though, I will draft David here. Just that he can imply immediate first aid, if necessary. Here. He's gonna... Alright, good job, Christina. You get to... Oh, no, 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 no. She's not allowed to get anything but uh, just your basics. Uh, since, you know... We don't want to waste precious resources on this person, but we do want them to survive. And we'd like this bodyguard. I mean, I don't think she's an actual bodyguard, she's a sheriff. Slave price? Ooh, let's reduce resistance first. Because she's gonna survive, that's for sure. Yeah, look at that. We have enough wood available. We could always try to uh, put that down. Uh, reinstall those. Reinstall here. And this one as well. Reinstall there. And then we can have build copies. So, oh. Cancel. So we can. Build a copy, put it down here, and then have a end table next to it, which will hopefully cheer the people up. And now we can just, you know, speed it up. David is tending to Christina. Maybe Christina will actually warm up to him now that he's, you know, tending to her. Inside. Oh, it is not considered it outside. Inside. Let's put another door there then. Otherwise. Milk! There's no use to it right now, which is too bad. Because we don't have batteries yet, which I really want Katarina to get on to. Where's Treasure? I see you're really busy. She might be able to join us. You know, it's a prisoner. Let's see if she shows her. She dislikes all of us. Probably because she's a prisoner. <laughs> Which makes that totally understandable. Uh, our potatoes should be almost done now. It's 55% grown. Uh, 
Who's our craft builder? Who's our construct person? Christina. Who's not healthy yet. I'm sorry, Christina, but you are gonna have to not bed rest here. Because I don't want you to bed rest. Very simply. That's purely the reason. What's she doing? Why are you playing horseshoes? We need you to work. There's so much work to be done. There you go. Constructing the stuff. Sure, make the bedroom of the criminal the nicest first. It's an awful cell, clearly, but... Hopefully this will cheer the bedroom up a bit. David is reducing the... Uh, the hatred. Let's see, it's it's getting better. Uh, Christina, I need you to thank you for that. But oh crap, we don't have enough wood. So let's chop some wood soon. There you go. Fraser is also doing the chopping of wood now, since you know he can't really do much more. Now we are indeed low on food. We have like fourteen, or like two days of uh, meals left. Now that we have this group of people, which means I need to construct a freezer soon. Which my plan was doing to build a freezer here, which would be a smaller freezer, sure. But for now, this can serve as a freezer. Build a copy there. And then build a power, no, not a uh, temperature cooler. There. And we build a power line like this. people to chop more wood which they can do here and hopefully they'll construct the fridge soon enough there we go let's get that power line done soon that would be great thank you Christina thank you for chopping the wood as well using it to construct. That's great. So if we manage to line this little bit, we can immediately start constructing the uh, the rest here. The rest of the fridge. Now it is considered indoors, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, finally. And I think she's gonna make the last bits of... Uh, steel now. Yeah, she is. So, oh, I still need a bit of steel here. Which should now allow our cooler to work. Doesn't have too big of a place to currently cool, so it should not be too big of a deal. Stockpiling his own here. Besides, of course, when there's no power, clear all foods Allow rotten. Uh, we make it a critical important, and then of course manufactured medicine, herbal medicine. Uh, I think raw resources, plant matter as well. Yeah. Okay. So now it's already freezing in here. It's exactly what we want. These bedrooms probably don't look the nicest, but it's better than nothing. And I think we can also do a floor that is basically like a path. No, that's not a path. Oh well. We have enough wood now to construct some additional buildings. Like I want to kind of uh, close this up. And have these two mined. Then build a door there. Uh, 
the reason why we are building this is for a very small little uh, cooking station. Or at least a butchery place. Let's actually see production butchery table. That's exactly what we want. And we are grabbing this as a little seat here. And with the after we finish that, I hope we can have Christina keep doing some work. There should be enough work to yeah. There's enough wood there to uh, clear that out. We're gonna mine here and get some more resources since these guys have nothing to do. Yeah, I, need, I know it's an awful kitchen. Uh, work. You're not on hauling duty anymore. Social. She actually likes David somewhat. As a prisoner, who's a major Frazier. Why are you at a major break risk? You do know you can, you know, play with the freaking thingy here, right? Oh well. Hopefully he does know that. However, with that, I hope I was hoping that we're, that we're gonna have like one event happen. Oh, and lightning striking in there. Luckily, it is raining, so we won't be bothered too much by it. Here, that's what I mean. Like the rain be is able to put out the fires. But after this day, we let's see what they they have. Ooh, we have a visitor. Also, uh, she's a space refugee from the rising sun. We need uh, someone to grab her. So. We're gonna rescue her. This is, should be a safe temperature, right? Now I should be able to rescue her. At the cost of her own bedroom, I'm afraid. <laughs> you need to go here and be ready for as she brings him in. Because we need to make sure that she's fine. Or at least have her wounds closed. You can not do anything. Uh, let's see what he has. He's willing to trade, so we could actually check it out. Nothing much. Who's starving? Do we have food? Oh, no, we don't. Is there berries out here somewhere? Uh, allow. You're gonna. No, 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 hell no. Storage. We actually should allow corpses here. Corpses, animal corpses. Yes. So, Christina, you can now undo that. Fine. You're allowed to haul now, even if you're not allowed to hauling, and you're prioritizing that, actually. Speaking of, I need a bill here. Add a bill. Butcher creature. Do forever. Which I think Frazier should be doing. Who's the cook? David. Alright, David. Go. Butcher. Yeah, I'm just making a... I'm gonna make a small room here as well. It's not as small as the... Uh, here. I'm, I'm bringing it in here like... There we go. This is the kitchen. Like a proper kitchen, you know? Uh, let's see here. Orders, production, electric fuel stove. Building a cottage.
copy. Yes. Oh fuck, that's the wrong way around. However, uh, after this episode, we will be. And we'll see how the episodes are doing, hopefully well enough. And then we'll be continuing. Oh, what? Just. Oh, please. Don't eat raw meat. Stop it, Frazier. Stop it, you bastard. Stop breaking our stuff. Please. There's no point in breaking our stuff. As long as he doesn't destroy anything, it's okay. Okay. Bills. Add bill. Cook simple meal four times. Do it until you have. No, not that much. For now, I want it to be 30, and that's fine. <sighs> Look at that, that's great. Fantastic. Like, actually great. Uh, I'm actually gonna use David here to start hunting things. I know you wanted to sleep, but you're gonna fire this room. Also gonna fire the llamas. I'm I'm sorry. Fire the alpacas. Fire at this alpaca now. Fire this alpaca now. Fire this alpaca now. Fire that alpaca. Fire this alpaca. We're gonna keep firing at alpacas until they die. Fire at the alpacas! Kill them! I know, David. Melee attack on the alpaca to death! You're gonna haul this one. Prioritize hauling it. Is this also compact? Oh, that's compacted machinery. These donkeys we could grab. Christina, yeah, you're building a roof, I know. Yeah, this is the problem with the wind thing. If it's not working, we're screwed. Uh, can you haul? Yeah, you can. There you go, haul it. I thought that the... Yeah, Fraser, you can cook as well. Start butchering. Butcher the hell out of the things. You're starving. Everyone is. That's why, Fraser, I need you to start butchering animals and cooking. Okay, look at you. You're butchering them like a mad lad. Please, afterwards, don't start eating. Oh, he's gonna hate. David's gonna hate me so much. Yeah, he will. Oh, he doesn't need to hate me. Allow. Someone, hold it, Fraser. Yes, yes, butcher it. Butcher this one as well. Please, butcher everything. I need the food. And I need people to not eat the raw meat. Like, please, stop eating the raw meat. Finally. He's cooking something. He's making four meals at a time, boy. Look at that. No. Feed them meals now. Actual food. <laughs> the what? Oh, I should say you, be you better not be grabbing another freaking disgusting meal. We have more meals. Guest. And since he is doing them well, let's see which animals there are currently. Yeah, wildlife. Alpacas. We're gonna just hunt every last living thing we see. We need the food. Here we go. 
Hi, alpacas. Since they have no attack to attack us. Why are they so fast? Them. Get closer then. Fine. And shoot them again. Can you just hit? Park right next to you. Melee attack your opponent with that. And fire on this one. Okay, that's good. Both of these. Wow. You better test hauling that with. I mean, hunting boars is dangerous in terms of uh, in, part, in terms of this. But wild boars don't actually have that big of a chance. I know, David. I'm sorry. Prisoner, how close are we? Resistance remaining, quite. Actually, you know what? Here, well, let's have a recruitment chance. Then we can have. Um, or do it. Who's sleeping? Christine is sleeping on the ground. Yeah, she doesn't like that. Understandable, but uh, nothing we can do about it. Fraser, go. Okay, Christine is doing that. You're butchering. However, with this simple episode, nothing much happened today, I'm afraid, but. We will quit the episode here, and we will see you next time.